I have done it again. A lockdown build that can shoot like Steph Curry. Can dunk from anywhere and dunk on anyone. But most importantly, has absolute lockdown defense. Oh, and I get a, quite a few rebounds. Hey, what is good, everyone? So we're bringing you my six foot ten lockdown build. This video has been well requested from my other gameplay videos on this build. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. Link in the description. Like, subscribe. You see in the intro, this build is an absolute beast. So I don't want to waste any or more time. Let's get into this. We're going position small forward, height six foot ten, weight two hundred eighteen pounds, wingspan seven foot four. Okay, this is two off max. Um, which gives us crazy rebounding abilities. Just being six foot 10 in height and with a seven foot four wingspan is so overpowered. It doesn't translate into the attributes that well. I mean, our attributes are good, don't get me wrong. But like, if you look at some of the builds, they might get a lot better attributes, but it's not that crazy like in terms of how it plays compared to this build. So first thing I did was upgrade my standing dunk to a 90. This is super essential. We can cap break this all the way to 99, which means that we would get our legends um, rise up and things of that nature. But honestly, I don't think you need that. Um, that's more than overkill. Driving layups only a 58 and our close shot is a 75, which is honestly a little bit low, but you don't really need any of those stats to be honest. And post control is also just a 50. Um, yeah, all these finishing stats except for standing dunk are all super low, but we get a lot of dunks and driving layup and close shot doesn't matter too much. We have more than enough to finish around the ring. And unless you're getting standing dunks, you don't really want to be trying to finesse your way around the rim because we have a 78 three ball, which is what we need to get that silver set shot specialist. That's why we went seven foot four wingspan, seven foot five would put us at a 77 three, so we wouldn't get silver set shot specialist. Um, and that's why we want that badge. And then we'll get a 68 mid range shot. And as you guys will see, if you watch my jump shot video, I go absolutely off on this build. Um, I can hit a lot of shots off the pop anywhere around the three as long as I'm standing still at a very consistent rate. If you watch all my shooting tutorial videos, how to shoot instantly in my jump shot video, you'll be shooting very well instantly. 55 free throw, I had an extra attribute that I couldn't put on anything else at the end. Passing accuracy is super, super important, especially because we're six foot 10, seven foot four wingspan with a crazy vertical. We're gonna be getting a lot of rebounds and we're gonna be dishing it out and yeah, you want that break starter silver. Trust me, it's gonna help out your team so much running that transition. Ball handling just goes up to a 44 automatically. And then speed with ball maxes out to a 49. That's because we put our speed up. That'll just go up automatically. I won't even touch that. But now interior defense, as I said, we're a lockdown, but honestly, we're more of a rim protector on this build. But because we have so much speed, it's super easy to switch with the point guards. I feel like I lock up guards almost better than I do big men on this build just because I'm so lanky, six foot 10 and speedy that they can't do anything on me. Like the paint is completely locked and I'm so easily able to contest all their shots compared to when some of these smaller players are guarding them, you know, they can shoot over them pretty easy. But nevertheless, we still have 73 perimeter defense, which is still really good. You can see um, we get challenger bronze. I feel like we get on ball. No, we don't get on ball menace. We get pick dodger up pretty high though when we upgrade our um, agility. But still we go to a 73 as well. And that should give us, yes, yeah, silver interceptor and bronze glove. Glove is kind of, it doesn't seem to be that good in this game, okay? Not many people are getting on ball steals except for like when they run into the ball, which Glove doesn't affect anyway. But Interceptor, however, is a crazy badge. You know, guys, been playing this game, everyone gets a lot of intercept passes. And we're six foot 10 with a seven foot four wingspan, so best believe we do get a lot of intercepts. And then our block can go all the way to a 99, which we want to cap break. This is probably the first thing I'm going to cap break. As you can see, we go to a 94 block. And then let's just upgrade our vertical to what I need it to be, 85. And then that is Paint Patroller Gold. And then once we get our cap breakers, yeah, once we get our cap breakers, we get a Hall of Fame. And then, oh, we go 99 block and 
We just need four more points on interior defense. So once we get two cap breakers, then we can get our um, legend paint patroller, which will be super overpowered. Um, and then for rebounding, we're going offensive rebounding to an 81. Um, I feel like that was to get a certain badge. We'll see, I guess, when we upgrade our other stats. I guess, we, yeah, we're missing strength. We upgrade our strength to an 83. Yeah, you can see we get that box out beast went up right there. 83 strength. And we can cap break the offensive rebound to get a little higher. You can see, yeah, gold pogo stick, silver box out beast, and silver rebound chaser. Again, seven foot, like six foot ten, seven foot four wingspan. You get a lot of rebounds. And then defensive rebounding 75. If you guys watch my videos, I absolutely snag. Um, especially because we're just so much quicker than the bigs that we can kind of just get around them easy. And then speed 79. And you can see that's where our speed with ball upgrades. And then agility goes to a 71. And where am I missing an attribute somewhere? Close shot 75, 58, 75, 90, 50, 68, 78, 55, 75, 44, 49, 85, 73, 73, 94, 81, or oh, 76. There we go. You can see that is the build. That's the build that I've been rocking with. I'll show you how I upgraded my stuff in a second. So quickly, this is how you can see I upgraded my player to an 88, almost 89 overall. The first things I did was almost max out all my physicals. As you can see, they're maxed out now. When I first got to 85, I still had a few points left on each of them. The reason I did that was because this is like the main reason this build is so OP because I'm 6'10", I still have 79 speed, 71 agility, 83 strength, 85 vertical. I'm still able to keep up with all the guards and everything like that. And I'm still able to like bully the, the little guards and hold back the big centers with 83 strength, 85 vertical. I snag a lot of rebounds. I just, the last thing I upgraded when I went from 87 to 89 was I maxed out my offensive rebounding and what that would give me is that um, silver rebound chaser uh, which is what I've been missing for a while I've only been using bronze so hopefully that'll help me out a lot the rebounding on this build is really really good so I'll make sure you upgrade that early I haven't upgraded any perimeter defense yet on this build and that's because I already upgraded my agility all the way and it's good enough to lock people down so obviously once this build maxes out that primitive defense is going to be crazy but um we didn't need it at the start and then obviously max out interior defense max out blocks for all those defensive badges passing accuracy i found was super important especially because i'm getting all the rebounds i want to be able to throw the pass up so i put a fair bit of points into that straight away 78 three ball was also super important to me that was the first thing i upgraded um because you guys see me see my gameplays i shoot a lot of threes and then mid-range, I also just upgraded um, just now. I hit a couple mid-ranges, but with a 62 compared to a 40 mid-range, hopefully it's now a consistent shot for me. And then the only thing I've touched in my finishing so far has been my standing dunk. And then with my vertical, that has been crazy. Um, as you've seen by my other gameplays, I've just been getting standing dunks on everyone. But that's really the end of the video. Um, my animations are pretty self-explanatory. I literally just have the standing dunk packages equipped. And then the jump shot that I have, which is in a different video, which is in the link in the description. So go check that out. And yeah, I'm out. See ya.